Coming up, I'm going to share why I believe that app preview videos will be super duper important on iOS 11. Stay tuned. What is up App Nation? It is your boy, Stevie P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm seeing on iOS 11, especially when it comes to the search results. And so, and this is the primary reason why I believe that, actually, that having an app preview video is gonna be super important on iOS 11, okay? And I'll show you those search results and why I believe app preview videos are gonna be super duper important. Now, before I start, I do wanna kinda of start off with this saying that videos, having app preview videos, app preview videos, it, these are videos that show up in the search results. Before iOS 11, they, I saw some mixed results. So certain people were saying that, yes, videos actually helped increase downloads. Other people said, hey, it actually hurt app preview videos. And so what I said before this, now I think across the board, you should probably have video based off what I'm seeing on iOS 11. But on iOS 10, what I used to tell clients was, if you have a paid app, it makes sense to have a video because you're going to, people are gonna to wanna to see the app before they buy it, right? Maybe they got a recommendation or they just stumbled upon your app. People do definitely wanna see it because there's a barrier to entry. I have to pay and it's very hard getting a refund. But now for free apps, I was like, you know, it's mixed results. So if you have the money, great, spend it. If you don't, then you don't need to spend it on video ads. But now I think with iOS 11 and the way that Apple has incorporated video, I do think it's worth spending a few dollars on an App Store video, all right? So let's get into the App Store and I'm gonna walk you through why I believe video, video is gonna be super important on iOS 11. Here we go. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna search for meditation. I'm gonna click that. And as you can see, oh, I got a different result before. So I'm gonna go through the results. So simple habits, number one, great. And then Meditation Studio is number two. Headspace is number three. And I hope you're noticing this. So as you can see, as I'm continually scrolling, you can see certain things moving, right? So when there's video, right here, Ovana, when there's video, Apple is auto-playing it. So in my opinion, it's actually gonna catch a user's eye, right? Before, it was just everybody's things was static and you couldn't see anything. But as you can see, even with Headspace, the video is playing. And so we're more, as humans, attracted to things that move. And for those listening, I just moved a little bit, did my super fancy dance. But you can see that it's moving. So I'm going to be more attracted to an app that's going to be moving a little bit. So if you see this search result, I'm going to be attracted to the Headspace. I'm like, whoa, what is it? Okay, cool. And I get to see a little bit bits and pieces of the app in preview. So I think it's gonna be super important to have this. As I'm scrolling through the different results, maybe I'm looking at the reviews, my eyes gonna be immediately attracted to the things that are moving, right? And so I'm gonna click more to figure that out, like Meditation Studio here. So that's why I think it's gonna be super duper important, whether you have a free app or a paid app, it's gonna be important to have these type of preview videos. Now, if you're on a budget, you know, there's an app called out there called ScreenFlow that I'm actually using to record my iPhone off of, and I've created multiple videos using the ScreenFlow app. So it works well for Mac. If you're on PC, I, sorry, <laughs> I haven't been a Windows user for quite some time, but if you're on a, a Mac, I use ScreenFlow and you can capture your iPhone just like that. So you could play around with your app and then create an app preview video just like this. So keep it super lean and super affordable. You don't have to pay anybody. But if you do want to go check out a professional and have somebody professional create it, I would check out the guys at Aptimin to get your videos done. But this is why, this is one of the reasons why I do think that video is gonna be super important on iOS 11. I just love the fact that Apple is starting to move it. It gets my attention when I see something move, like my eyes gonna immediately stop on an app that has some video because it's moving. I'm like, well, what, is, what is this? Like, okay, let me learn more about that, right? So I'm gonna click in and then click more about this a little bit. Like, ah, okay, interesting, got it, All right? So I'm more app, I'm more likely to download an app. Now I wanna run some tests just to confirm this because sometimes I don't like sharing things without real data. 
and I'm just sharing things on hunches, but I'm gonna try to be better at sharing my hunches <laughs> and then backing up with data. Because most of the time, previously what I would do is not share things until I had data, but I'm finding that more and more people are asking me about my hunches and about my opinion. So I'm gonna give you my opinion and then back it up with some data later on. Hope that was helpful. Again, if you wanna check out, if you wanna create your own videos, check out ScreenFlow. I'm gonna clean, include a link to that in the description. And then also Aptamin is a more professional service if you wanna check them out. They are a little bit more, but they are worth it. I know the founder very well, Savannah, so tell him I said hi. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next video.